Station at 11. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Selena Lewis. Two people have been killed in a car crash in the town of Elba in Genesee County. State police say that at around 1 p.m., a car on State Route 98 lost control due to weather and road conditions. The car slid off the road and was T-boned by a pickup truck. Police have not yet identified the two passengers who were found dead when they arrived. The pickup driver did not have any serious injuries. Calls for Virginia Governor Ralph Northam to resign is growing louder. But so far, Northam is refusing to step down. Northam now says he's convinced that he is not one of the people in a racist medical school yearbook photo from 1984. He came under fire after the photograph surfaced on Friday. He says he won't give up his seat as governor. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand chimed in, calling for his resignation. There's always a place for someone to apologize, to have humility to say I was wrong and, I'm, and I deeply regret something. There's always a role. We, we believe in redemption in society. Um, but I think what's happened in this instance is, is untenable. I don't know how he can govern, uh, which is why I called on his resignation. Similar calls came from other 2020 hopefuls, including Julian Castro and Senators Kamala Harris. Governor Cuomo announced yesterday that in a state effort to deter underage drinking, nearly 900 fake IDs were seized in 2018. The state seized 892 fake documents, up from 840, 814 the year before. Their efforts focused on concert venues, bars, restaurants, and alcohol retailers. Western New York had the most fake IDs in the state. Not everyone is celebrating the sudden increase in temperature. Officials from the National Weather Service are warning of potential flooding due to ice jamming. That's when the flow of rivers is blocked by chunks of ice leading to flooding upstream. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul says the state is providing water pumps and other services to areas of the state that are prone to flooding. The good news is that none of our streams or rivers go through major populated areas. These are areas that have been hit Right, was routinely, so they're accustomed to this, and we're, we know where to go. Officials say things should be okay if the thaw happens slowly, but so far the weekend's wild temperature swings don't bode well for local rivers. Mercy Flight teamed up with Bristol Mountain to hold their Sip and Ski fundraiser tonight. Kayla Green was there and tells us more about the annual event. Kayla.